Hi, for anyone new to the channel, I'm Linda. And I'm Troy. All of us in the RV world are always thinking about one thing, it seems, and that's upgrading our solar or upgrading the batteries. It's never ending search for the perfect setup. In today's video, we're gonna focus on how much our appliances and all the features in our camper use as far as amps. Right, so when we were looking to upgrade our battery, and you can um, check out the video here where we talk about what we chose and why, um, but we went online prior to that and just kind of did some research to see, you know, how much all of the components that we use inside our camper actually draw in amps. Now, everybody is different. So today we're gonna try to help you guys by doing some tests and letting you know how much everything really does draw for us. Knowing how many amps you use will keep you off grid a little bit longer. Now shown in a previous video, this is the battery that Linda and I eventually chose. In a future video, I'm gonna do a complete review of this battery, but today I wanna to focus on this nifty little gadget to take some tests. This is the monitoring screen for the Renogy Smart Lithium batteries. It plugs into a data port on top of the battery and will tell us volts, state of charge, the size of the battery it's connected to, and what overall amps are coming in and going out. So the first thing we did was cover up the solar panel on the roof so there were no amps coming in. Then we determined what the draw was on the items we couldn't easily disconnect. Recorded how much their draw was, as we're going to need to subtract that going forward. Now the first up is the fridge. Our camper is a 2019, so it does still have a two-way, runs off electric and gas. So this is not one of the new 12 volt models. So the monitoring screen was reading negative 0.7, but there's always a 0.3 draw. So the fridge was drawing 0.4 amps. So that is it. Now the values did sometimes fluctuate like by 0.1 or so, but I don't think enough to make any meaningful impact. But also, you know, every camper is a little bit different. So just know that, you know, different appliances may draw different amps. Now, hopefully you can use this information as a guide to what you typically use and it would, might help you determine best what are your solar and battery needs. Now, if you'd like to see more videos upcoming, including the full review on our Renogy battery, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, Desi, 
always wants you to hit that notification bell.